Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. My name is Atiku Rahman, an AWS certified DevOps engineer. Uh, I'm creating tutorials for AWS tech technology and uh, SSL certificates, virtual machines, etc. Today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to create a new tutorial on uh, DigitalOcean. So I'm getting $200 DigitalOcean credit. So let's try to use those. I will give you a link in the video description. Using that link, you can also get a $200 credit in DigitalOcean and create something fun. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to create a WCMC panel in DigitalOcean and we'll show you how you can do that. So I am in my droplets section in DigitalOcean. So basically, what we are calling in situ instances here we call droplets in digital version that's different naming then i'm going to create a new droplet so that's creating a droplet i'm going to choose a region so that's uh like whatever nearest to you my nearest is kind of like bangalore and singapore both but i'm going to choose bangalore because most of my Visitors of these channels are from India, so I love India. Good. Then uh, the next uh, thing that I have to choose in OS is go to marketplace and there should be available WHMC panel. Just choose that. So that's you have selected and then just choose the, like, the maximum what you can use. Okay, because I have plenty of credits that I have to use uh one time password so let's paste this then that's it yeah create a droplet the droplet includes a basic whmc panel but you need to purchase additional license from cpanel.net so they will give you one license actually for i think 30 days for free so first touch this free, you can use that and you can then either purchase or renew that license monthly basis, then that's it, or you can cancel it. Then your instance will be not usable. That means you have the instance running, WHM is running, but the license is expired, something like this. So uh, my droplet is being created. So it's almost done, I think. Let's click here. So basically it takes some time. So even though it says that it's ready or something, but installing all those processes for the WHM, cPanel, all those software packages, that requires time. So meanwhile, it is being loaded. Let's go to cPanel.net. I might already have an account. Let's see if I have an account already. I, I do actually have an account. Not. Let's see. Uh, okay, maybe if it's pretty is expired, then I don't. Yeah, okay. It should be like my email address, right? Let's see. Oh, I do have it, Jimmy. That's good. I don't have to create any more. Um, let's go to the places. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, I have logged in here. So uh, while it's being created, you can sign up in cpanel.net and create your account. And uh, please provide any information. Okay, I'll do that later. My licenses, uh, do I have any licenses? I tried to create a few days ago, so I should have license. Oh, they will not allow me to proceed further. Commissions. Okay, let's see. Um, let's try to go to the console. It is quite nice that you don't have to use like uh, putty, SSH, all those things. You can just use the console to connect to that droplet. What does droplet means? If you guys know, just put a comment below so I also know what this droplet means actually. But it is kind of similar thing, AWS EC2 instances, but I don't know what is droplet meaning. I mean, literally what does means droplet. So as I told you, 
it says that it is doing some background work so i just have to wait i think i just post i will pause the video for a few minutes and i will back when it's ready okay i'm back and it seems uh, everything is done so i'm going to close it i'm going to refresh this screen and i'm going to reconnect again so let's see. try to connect to the console Connecting to the droplet connected. Good. Okay. Here they give you an URL which you need to just copy and go. So um, there it is. They will probably ask you to set up some passwords. So without reading anything, I just agree. Because, yeah, <laughs> we don't have any other options, so we have to agree whatever they say. That's that's it. Okay, now I'm going to give allow access. Let's see what happens. Activate trial license. The license activation process sometimes takes time, and it's usually reasonable because they are validating your license, whether it's you are eligible for the three tier. I was wrong initially, it's 15 days, not 30 days. So you can either register a different account with different mail address and get 15 more days or use 15 days and then delete it or use it. So that's okay. Then click server setup. I'm just going to give my mail number name server that's okay let's go next <clears throat> and um, this is it right list accounts let's create a new account uh, I think we'll dot xyz sounds good right and Password, password generator, that's good. Yes, password, email, wait. I hope it creates, yeah, it is, that's good. And account functions, a lot of things here. I go to my list view, list of accounts. So this is it. I think we have already created an account. Now if I change my DNS, it should point to this site. And as usual, if you know cPanel is, you could actually uh, do all those things, create email accounts, upload files, files manager, Set up your website. By default, there is a PHP installed. You can install a Ruby as well, I think. And sometimes they support Node.js. So pretty stuff. Pretty cool things. That being said, that's it for today. Uh, the purpose was to show you how you can uh, create a WGC panel in Drop uh, DigitalOcean. And you can uh, create a license in cpanel.net and link those two. And if you wanted to, if you are happy with DigitalOcean service and wanted to proceed further, you can just purchase a license and uh, renew it monthly, then it's secured. If you're not, then just delete the droplet and uh, move away. So that being said, that's it for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and uh, please put your comments below that what you want to learn next. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.